What's going on YouTube? My name is Alex. This is Ass to Cheese Gaming. So about two weeks ago, I did a video where I showed off five games from my collection that I thought you should play this summer for the Nintendo 64. And the feedback and the comments and the support that I got on that video was absolutely fantastic. I really appreciate it. So I thought, you know what? Why not? Let's do the same thing, except this time we're going to talk about this wonderful little console you see here. The Super Nintendo. So same rule as before, I'm trying to find six games that are pretty good pick up and play games. Primarily avoiding any RPGs or JRPGs. So games like, you know, Illusion of Gaia, Shadowrun, Earthbound, Chrono Trigger, anything Final Fantasy, all that stuff. Definitely not going to be good for the summer. I would think of that being more as a, like a wintertime thing. So let's just jump right in. First one we're going to talk about, and then these are in no particular order. Just pulled them from my collection. Skiff a little bit about each one. Top Gear. You could either go with Top Gear or the original Mario Kart. I think both work well, but this has got a fantastic sense of speed, sense of sp pacing, some very unique, cool levels. Just a good racing, solid arcade style racing game to play in the summertime. Next up, we have, got to have some type of platformer. Now, I think some platformers definitely can be very tedious and a little more time-consuming, but this one's a little bit better. Tiny Toons Adventures Buster Bust Loose, made by Konami. It's got a sprint mechanic in the game. So, I mean, realistically, you know, if you get the hang of the controls and the sprinting in this game, you could plow through this game in, like, an hour. Or maybe even just, you know, play, like, one level and, like, you know, 15 20 minutes and then set it down come back later which is really what i'm trying to find for this game just something you could sit down play for like 15 20 minutes maybe half an hour hour max and then go do something else you know go go be outside enjoying the beautiful weather so that's a platformer next up hyper zone Realistically, you could put a lot of the space shoot 'em ups, but I think this is a really good one. It's just a simple, straightforward rail shooter. Just pick up and play, dodge enemies, blow up everything in your path. Very simple. You can sit down, play this one easily for 15, 20 minutes, no problem. Though some of the graphics are kind of ugly as sin, but I like it. I think it's a solid game, worthwhile. Like I said, just a Simple, basic rail shooter. Sometimes that's all you really want. Just sit down, play for like 15 minutes, blow up everything in your path, and go do something else. We're cruising right along. Summertime, I always think of Boys of the Summer, so gotta have a baseball title. Why not go to the predecessor of Major League Baseball featuring Ken Griffey Jr.? And we'll go with King Griffey Jr. Presents Major League Baseball for the Super Nintendo. Or you could also throw in... MLB winning run, or extra innings, or dynamic stadium, Super Baseball 2020. Really, any baseball title works pretty well. When I think of summertime, I always think of boys of summer, so here we go. Gotta have a good solid baseball game for the summer. We're four games in, we got two more to go. Let's continue right along. One of the quickest beat em ups, I think, in my opinion. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the original. Realistically, you could plow through like any of the levels in this game in 10 minutes and there's a password system. So I mean, you could easily sit down and play this one for 10 minutes, write down the password. Next time, do the same thing. Beat this one over the course of a summer. You're pretty basic. It's just, you know, single plane, straightforward beat em up. So I won't take you too long to plow through. And the last one. Oh, and also with these games, I wanted to throw as much variety in here, so we got to have a fighting game. So I did choose Clay Fighters Tournament Edition. There's an option in here that lets you speed up the gameplay by a lot. So I think that really goes to helping the kind of pick up and play style. Where you can really speed this game up quite a bit. So that'll help. And I mean, if you're more prefer the Street Fighter 2 Turbo or Alpha Street Fighter 2, you could throw those in here as well. This is just one that I picked. So let's go through these real quick. We got a fighting game of Clay Fighters. We got a beat em up. 
Power Rangers. We got a baseball game, sports game, Ken Griffey Jr. We got a rail shooter, Hyperzone. We got a platformer, Tiny Toons Adventure, Buster Bust Loose. And we got ourselves a racing game, Top Gear. So what'd you think of my list? Feel free to leave yours for me below. And if you're interested in seeing one of these videos for the Xbox 360, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, everybody.